If you own an RV, there's one simple tool that you really should have along with you. And I'm going to show you. Hello my friends, and welcome to Tom's Tinkering Adventures. Well, like I said in the intro, if you have an RV, there's a specialty tool that's really good to have. Now, I've owned several RVs. I've had a Class C RV, which is kind of like the van looking style that has the uh, overhead sleeper. And then I had a Class A, which you know looks like a bus. And now we currently have this travel trailer, this toy hauler. And every one of them needed maintenance. I've had really old ones and really new ones. They all require maintenance. Something almost always seems to break every time that you use it as well. So. If you're thinking about getting an RV and you're not a handy person, well, either stand by for paying somebody else to do it or start learning how to be handy because things break all the time on these things. It's just sort of the way of life. I used to make fun of boat owners, but this is just a boat on land. That's all it is. So, uh, ha ha, back at me. The last time we went out, the screen door, here, let me look, it fits perfectly. There you go. The screen door latch right here broke off. And of course, when the latch was broken off, the screen door would close, but you couldn't open it. As you can see, we have a duct tape repair on it. But I couldn't take that latch off because I had forgotten the one tool that I'm gonna be talking about here. And that is a Robertson screwdriver. I don't know how well we can see this on there. There you go. See, that is a square drive. Every screw pretty much on the assembly of this thing has these square drive screws. Uh, you can either search square drive or Robertson. Robertson is the actual name of uh, uh, the screw um, head invented by a, a man with the last name of Peterson? No, Robertson from Canada. So there's two places where these screw uh, heads are very popular and one of them is in Canada and the other one is in the RV industry for whatever reason I mean um, they're very easy to install without stripping out the the drive so that's probably why the RV industry uses them but if you have just a regular toolbox that you maybe you bought like a tool assortment or you threw together some tools to bring with you you probably don't have square drive screwdrivers now I bought I bought this set from our favorite uh, hated online distributor for $15. It's a Tecton is the name brand. There you go, Tecton. You can buy whatever ones you like. You can buy just bits that you can put into a driver or whatever. I just figured having these in the different sizes as well. Number one, number two, number three, I think is what it says. Uh, yeah, S1, S2, S3. So I'm just going to throw these in the drawer, then I'll always have them. Let me show you a couple of these square drives where they're at all over on the camper. Right here, pretty much all the hardware on the door latch, the door itself. Those are all square drive. Almost all your um, attaching hardware for anything is going to have these square drive items. Some of the stuff isn't, so I'm not saying it's everywhere. You know, what do we got? Those are square drive for the outdoor speakers. Those look like Phillips up here for the light. So not everything is, but a lot of the stuff is. Uh, the square drives all around your windows, inside, anything that's holding up, um, like shades, that sort of thing. And this is the kind of things that they make these things super cheap. I don't care how much you spent for your RV. These things are made out of the cheapest material available. Yeah, see, I already have a screw missing right here. One popped out of here, and this whole thing is moving, so there's a square drive. So I'm going to have to fix that. Like I said, there's always something. If I look around down here, I'm sure I'll find that screw. But get yourself a nice set of Robertson bits or screwdrivers. Keep them with your RV at all times because if you're in the middle of nowhere and you need to fix something you're gonna have a heck of a time getting these things out 
Okay, well, I got a bit of time ahead of myself here fixing the broken things in this RV, getting ready for the next time I go out. But uh, just thought I'd throw that handy tip out to any of you who uh, are looking at getting an RV or who already have one. Just make sure you have some square drive slash Robertson bits or screwdrivers. Okay, if you're liking my videos, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios.